In this video, we are going to study something called as proportion. So we will see that when are four numbers set to be in proportion, four numbers in proportion. So we will take four numbers. Those four numbers are A, B, C, D. We will say that these four numbers are in proportion if a upon b is equal to c upon d. But if we have three numbers, we will say three numbers are in proportion if, so I am calling those three numbers as a, b, c and they are said to be in proportion if a upon b becomes equal to b upon c so let us take examples of what is problems based on four numbers in proportion and three numbers in proportion i'm going to the next page suppose i take numbers 12 3 4 and x are in proportion then I must be able to find x now how are we going to find x so we know that 12 3 4 x are in proportion this means that 12 upon 3 is equal to 4 upon x a upon b is equal to c upon d in this format so this means that 12 multiplied by x is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 which means that x is equal to this 12 will go and divide on the other side so we will get 4 into 3 upon 12 so x is equal to 12 upon 12 therefore x will be equal to 1 let us take one more problem suppose i have x 4 5 and 8 are in proportion then can i find x So this means that if the four numbers are in proportion, we will get that x upon 4 is equal to 5 upon 8. Again, I will use the same thing. x will multiply by 8 is equal to 4 will multiply by 5. And therefore, I will get x is equal to this 8 will go on the other side and it will divide. So this will become x is equal to 4 into 5 is 20 upon 8. Now we can use the calculator and find the value of 20 upon 8 using our calculator. So if you go into a calculator, you will see that 12 upon 8 will 20 upon 8 will come to be 2.5. So this is the value of x. If I take one more question, find fourth proportion. Find fourth proportion of seven, eight, ten. So the meaning of this is that let the fourth proportion be x. Fourth proportion we want to find. This means that 7, 8, 10, x are in proportion. So that x we will write in the last entry here. This means that 7 upon 8 is equal to 
10 upon x again I will multiply 7 into x this will be multiplying this and this person will multiply this is equal to 8 into 10 we want to find x so we will push this 7 on the other side and it will go and divide on that side so you will get x is equal to 8, in, 8 into 10 upon 7 means x is equal to 80 upon 7 if we now go into our calculator and we calculate what is 80 divided by 7 in calculator we will get it is 11.42 so the meaning of this is that the value of x is 11.42 which is our fourth proportion so the fourth proportion for this problem is 11.42 now let us go for numbers which are 3 and 3 numbers are in proportion so I will say if 16 x and 4 are in proportion find x so here this is like abc are in proportion if three numbers are in proportion we know that we write it as a upon b equal to b upon c so here it will mean that 16 upon x is equal to x upon 4 this means that when you multiply 16 and 4 I will get x into x and when I do x into x therefore we will get 64 I am using calculator here is equal to x into x is x square this square root this square will come on the left hand side and become square root of 64 and when we go in the calculator and we calculate what is square root of 64 we will get by calculator square root of 64 is 8 means x is 8 this x this central x the x which which comes in the center or the b in this problem which is here is called geometric mean or it is also called mean proportion mean proportion so here x is nothing but our geometric mean or mean proportion sometimes in exams it is asked find mean proportion the meaning of that is you want to find the middle number b we will take a problem related to that now find mean proportion of twenty seven and three so the meaning of this is that twenty seven mean proportion is x which should be in middle and three are in proportion these three numbers are in proportion the meaning of this is that 27 upon x is equal to x upon 3 I will again multiply 27 by 3 and x by x so this will mean that 27 3 is, a, is 81 is equal to x square this square will come on this side and will become square root and we know that 81 square root is 9 if we don't know you can use your calculator you will get x is equal to 9 so the mean proportion is 9 I hope the problems of finding fourth proportion and mean proportion are now clear in this video